Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here, and... Guys. What's up, room? Um... This guy, this guy named Punchmade Dev has been going really famous on TikTok, guys. Like, super, super famous. So we gotta react to, uh, Punchmade Dev here, guys. Punchmade Dev. Punchmade Dev, guys. He's been going super viral about, you know, making a song about scamming, guys. So we're gonna have to check it out. Scammer self-snitches self and ruins his life. Your card, like, and you know, to activate your card, you know, you gotta call up there and type in the numbers and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, I haven't seen the numbers. So okay. Completely impossible. Okay. Yeah, he was on, on a call with Aiden Ross uh, recently. But let's, uh, let's go into it, guys. Let's just keep watching. Sorry, the first thing you wanna do... Look at his chain, man. He has like a swiping chain, bro. Right there, man. He has so many chains. It's uh, quite a bit of chains, right, guys? Lots of chains right there. It's all good. Oh, cool. You not? All right, whatever. Right, come on. So you need this software. This is the MSR software to this. Whoa. And this is how I write. Yeah, they keep talking about MSR. I don't know what MSR is. And delete dumps. So the first thing you want to do... Is you want to erase? He's got a nice Dell laptop. We just actually ordered a Dell laptop as well, guys. You want to erase the dump? It's plugged in. You see it's yeah, on. This is obviously all fake, right? you idiots. You guys know that, right? I'm about to erase all the tracks. So if there was anything on here, it's about to get erased off right now. Okay. So you want to swipe it through here? What the? Swipe it two more times. What the? F Yo. All right, now it's completely empty. Dude, he just wiped a card. In the land of- He just wiped the card out there, guys. You simply cannot make this ish up. I introduce you guys to the current internet clown of the moment by the name of Punch Made Dev. Now, this gentleman will go down in the history as the world's most ridiculous, yet genius scammer the world- Genius, he calls him genius. ...has ever seen. Pay attention. Now I know exactly what you guys are thinking. This level and degree of self snitch cannot be real, can it? Well, this just I know, right? Like, what are you doing, bro? Snitching on yourself? About scam? I mean, I mean, these uh, the, the videos where he shows how to scam, I guess, have been up for a while. I'm not sure if uh. OBN Dev and a Punch Made Dev are the same person, like they changed their name, but there's another rapper called OBN Dev that is, uh, you know, had a video out basically explaining what to do, but uh, Punch Made Dev, I guess, is getting the, uh, is getting famous off it. I'm not sure which, <clears throat> if they're the same person or they're like, you know, in the same, uh, group or something. I have no clue, guys, but uh, I just bet genuinely couldn't, uh, Genuinely, like, I did not know, guys. I do, I still don't know. I gotta, I gotta look it up. Gentleman recently uploaded a music video where he detailed all of his escapades. I'm gonna show y'all how to hit a bank. Just pay attention. This is a quick way to jug in any state. First, you wanna get a bank. But yeah, the punch me, uh, or OBM Dev made, like, a video like this, like, three years ago. But it punched me. Clock from I guess is getting all the, uh, clout here, I guess. But trust the site. Do your research because the information must be right. With it. And this... This video doesn't even have that many views on YouTube. Probably like a uh, two or three million, like not that much, guys. In the video he detailed, which has been going super viral on TikTok everywhere, guys. How to scam all of these major organizations like a PayPal as well as a Cash App using schemes such as wire frauds in extreme detail. For that, you're gonna need an RDP server. It should come with their IP. You gotta plug it in the server. This might be a little hard, but it's hard being a worker. But wait till. Oh my gosh. It really is. The end of this video, because I'm telling you guys, it's going to get a lot more sinister than that. Now, the music video that he uploaded amassed millions of views and obviously got flagged by the feds and by YouTube and was removed, especially after he did another interview with a YouTuber by the name of Tommy G that further detailed all of his escapades. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Oh, yeah, we, I've seen this on TikTok. It was, a, it was like taken and put on TikTok, but whoa. Well, today we're... Tommy also has a lot of chains, bro. Dive oh, Punch Made put his chains on. Okay. The world is scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only, so you don't get scammed like people like this. 
So we're getting into skimmers yeah. and dumps. And dumps. what's a dump? So say if I wanted to write up a dump, right? I would get a track one, okay. uh, a 101 or a 201. So I get the information off my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because it got a whole face. This is the big boy one. The one right here, this is the Bluetooth one I got, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me, so. How much does this cost? Can't be no more than like 100. And how much does this major? It's like over 500K. So if someone says there's- Bro, he said he made a half a million doing this and- Guys, you think this is real? Certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They could either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they- Guys, I, uh, uh, I'm not sure if this is real. I, I really don't think it's real. Could be the person writing them up using- I don't think he's been doing- I think he's like a, just a rapper, guys, but hey, maybe not, maybe not. Them. Say like I know somebody working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through the drive-thru. To say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will quickly go like this, swipe it on the, uh, from my end, and that's when I get all the info. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. I'm about to wipe this one empty, I'm about to write up a dump on it for y'all. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this point? I know what I'm doing. You got a VPN, a proxy server, RDP. And the way someone stops this is by hitting lock on their bank account, right? Yeah. Like, so as far as scamming goes, are you feel like you're NBA level scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron of the scammer and Michael Jordan combined. Does yeah. your mother know you're a scammer? No. Nah. Bro, just blatantly putting it out there, guys. What is going? I don't think there's a quick way to success like this, guys. Maybe, maybe rapping about it, right, guys? But YouTube's even removing the songs and stuff. I tell her I do crypto. All right, so now I got the number. Yeah, not recommended to do this. Just plugged in. I'm about to run this through. Hey, he looks right rich with all the necklaces and stuff, right, guys? So now I just wrote somebody else's info on here. How much money is on that card? This one got about like a $600 balance. Wherever y'all went, we're about to go get everything for free real quick. Damn. Oh, snap. So apparently, like, he got a card with $600 on it now? I'm about to show you how to use a clone card real quick. Easy money, man. I mean, we, we did watch a video where they've been scamming, like, a uh, hacking, a. Uh, like famous content uh creator uh singers and uh taking like their unreleased songs so hey it's not impossible right guys i just think it's it's like black hat it's not like uh the most ethical thing right guys uh the the, the infamous beeps when you're using the atm man i haven't been in an atm in so long Voila. It's like magic. All right, so what the hell just happened? We just pieced up a chip, took it into the ATM, and cleared that. You see, I got their balance right there, 430k. I'm about to wire that to this account that I got my hands on. I'm gonna try to just do a quick ten real quick. Oh, how nice are you, Dev? You're only taking ten racks instead of twenty ten thousand. All right, let's do it. Wait, he's gonna take ten thousand for someone's bank account. Man, this dude apparently has uh, four hundred thirty thousand dollars in their bank. Real quick. Hello. Good. How are you? Good. I'm happy for you. I just want to make a withdrawal today, please. Yeah, no problem. Do you have? Oh uh, uh, yeah, I do. Perfect. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Or else they're not gonna ask like no for no ID or nothing, guys. I don't know what's up, man. Why do you think scamming become so popular? It's fast. I what know. do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years to back broke, and now you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long do you guys want to be in the game for before you're... I, I want to be like probably 30, then the best. Forever, nigga. 310. Let me sniff it to make sure. Yeah, go ahead. What are you going to do with this $10,000? I'm going to uh, give it back. What's the most amount of money you ever walked out of a bank with? 70000 How did that feel? Feel good. Feel amazing. Went about a chain with it. Bring cost. That was sixteen. Sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah, from Johnny. Bro, he's making it seem legit, guys. But I... okay, so we're here at the Airbnb you have for the day. You're gonna show us the last scam of the day. A big wave right now is cash up. This one's going crazy. Do fifty-five. Nice little ten k. Not bad, not bad. So fifty-five thousand. What the? Literally that simple. And how did you do that? Gotta pay for the size, man, but, and I can cash that out. Bro. There's, there's no way this is real. He probably just had money in his bank account, right? He didn't really show him 
like scamming much. He just made a withdrawal, then made another withdrawal. But <clears throat> all right, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> this is what I do know. Wait. We just gave you a how-to video, how to avoid getting scammed. Yeah, right? how to avoid getting. Scammed. Like I'm sure there's more steps than just uh, swiping and stuff, right, guys? Scam educational purposes. The amount of self snitching going on in these streets in 2023 is so absurd. Like they're going to be studying these Gen Zs for decades. Self snitching or confessing to a million people. Hey, rappers do that in their songs. You know what I mean? That you scam and exactly how to do it is not a recipe for long term success. In the past 10 days alone, this video has amassed a whopping three. Dang, it's going mega, mega viral here, guys. 3.7 million views. This dude's need for internet clout and fame is obnoxious. Self-snitching CEO of 2023. Self-snitching over 9,000. Many of the comments are talking about how completely ridiculous that this guy is. And actually, a subset of these comments are actually praising the guy. for. This is tough to watch. My wife has... What the doctors described as a rare case of B-cell lymphoma because they, they found some bumps in her skin, which is not nor normally how it presents itself. We had to scam her, empty our bank account, and we're still having the trouble to get back from the bank. Oh my gosh. Guys, I've got hacked before. It's not good, man. I, I'm not, you know, I don't condone this. That, that, that's, that's, that's my motto. I don't condone, condone what is going on here. For what it is that he's doing but comments like this humanize what he's actually doing this is tough to watch my wife has uh, uh, we'll skip ahead where he reads over it a little trouble getting it back from the bank and because of that we have fallen behind on a lot of our medical bills for radiation treatment cancer prescriptions along with other normal life financial obligations because of that i think that we'll eventually figure it out but people claiming that this is victimless crime don't know what it feels like to be on the other end of what is a really difficult scenario. <laughs> it's pretty heartbreaking to find out that your hard-earned savings disappeared overnight and we're still feeling the repercussions and negative effects of it right now. When you read statements like this, you begin to really feel for the people that are impacted by this. One of the things that he said in his video is that like, well, it's victimless because they're gonna end up getting their money back anyway. Yeah, but they still have no money when it happens. And what if they need to make like payments and stuff, guys? That would be all bad, all bad. But typically, if you get your entire account emptied out, this is not an instant transaction. I mean, I've had banks take up to two weeks to re-put funds back in my account for some bullshit that I realized that was a miss. But the plot thickens on this entire... I know, right? It's like three to five business days for just like an eBay refund. Because <clears throat> I made... um. The wrong purchase, man. It sucks. Higher story because it appears that Punch Made Dev outsmarted us all. He does his famous cash app glitch. Mr. Dev manages to steal 55000 in a couple seconds. So let's add that to his yearly income that he would generate if he actually does what he claims. So let us pretend that he spends more than only a couple seconds per day trying to make money. Let's. I know. That's what he ma he's making it seem with all these cuts and stuff, bro. <clears throat> It might be rap money or something, guys. I don't know. Pretend he does the cash app glitch for a whole two times per day. His yearly income would then be a whopping $50 million. This mean Basically. means that with Devin's claims, he would have made a whopping $100 million by 2025. But Dev seems to be a very nice person. He actually have a Telegram chat where he gives his fans the information on how they also can steal 55000 in seconds. Well, let's rephrase that. He sells that information. Yeah, he sells it, guys. <clears throat> so that's what, guys. Do not pay for this. Do not try to pay for this, because I think it, I think it's not really. You're not really gonna make money if you do it, guys. Either that or uh, I was looking at TikTok comments. He he might actually like uh, just r run off with the money or something, guys. Like for the small amount of only two hundred dollars. You will be able to make small amount. That's a lot, bro. Make fifty-five thousand in seconds. Isn't he nice? He gives <laughs> his followers a twenty-seven thousand percent return on investment. You can do it over and over again. You can basically hey, well, well done, uh, <clears throat> music video, right, guys? Make infinite amount of money only by giving Dev two hundred dollars. That's so nice of him. But let's take a closer look at his Telegram channel. Nearly ninety thousand people have joined his channel where he sells the Cash App glitch. Bro, what is Telegram? And 90,000, wait. Let's say only 10% bought it. 
then that would be $1.8 million, which his fans have sent to him to learn how he does the Cash App glitch. Now $1.8 million is a good amount of money. You could get a loan and double it, buy at least eight apartments to rent out. You can be set for life if you invest it. You can definitely pull out 10,000 to flex a bit for a video. You I know, right? <laughs> totally a fake video though, guys. Totally uh, what? <clears throat> can definitely not worth it. Bro. Afford a nice car, cool jewelry, but that's nothing to Dev because he is not rich from the money his fans sends him. Just listen to his claims, which totally adds up. He's actually on his way to becoming a billionaire with wire. I know, right? More <clears throat> making more money than Mr. Beast here in a few seconds. Yeah, right. Fraud and the cash app glitch. So let's see what the buyers off his cash app glitch is saying about it. Oh, look, look. <laughs> more people saying that they scanned him. It's very we it, weird because for some re <clears throat> reason, they're all saying that they got scammed. But why would Dev scam you for as little as $200? When he makes fifty million dollars per year of the scams that he claims he does, bro, it's, it's, it's just it's like those email the email scam we video we watched, man, promising more money, millions of dollars if you just make a small deposit, right, guys? So this guy who's obviously knowledgeable to some degree of how to scam and who markets himself as someone who scams big business and who cares about big business and them losing a, a little bit of their money on their billions and billions of dollars really has been marketing himself as that so he can set up other scammers. On some scammer inception shit, which is goddamn genius because a scammer is not going to go to the police to tell them that they've been scammed for scamming. So this guy's really just the people's champ who 3D chess moved himself to keep the poor people who don't want to work hard for something poor. Oh yeah, that is true. <clears throat> He's scamming people that are trying to scam. <laughs> I just realized that. That is a 3D. Or, oh, nice, nice. Or to keep the dumb people that don't want to educate themselves and gain a talent to gain utility on this planet. Dumber. Truly diabolical shit. But it all makes perfect sense because human beings Right, guys, can't feel can't feel that that bad for somebody. Um, can't feel feel that bad for somebody doing that, right? <laughs> Trying to you know scam uh, money and like that. We function on incentives. You got to ask yourself, like, what is the incentive for you to not still behind the cloak of darkness scamming your way into oblivion and instead choose to self snitch on yourself? trying to help other people understand how it is to do it. Meanwhile, you're showing the organizations how they're being scammed. So they're trying to fortify their walls or create barriers so you can no longer do it. And then you're giving your ops, the police, <laughs> federal investigator. Pretty much, pretty much. Let's see the part where he talks with Aiden Ross. I think he'll show it as well. Maybe, maybe not. There's <laughs> all of the yeah. evidence, the information that you need to lock you behind bars. But see, once they investigate them, they'll turn up with nothing. I just want to see the outcome of this situation, guys, because, uh, there, there, there is a, he did get, like, quest taken in and questioned, I think. Nothing, because it was all a ruse. It was all fake. It was just all free speech, which he's entitled to. But keep on scamming. Keep on giving the scammers the taste of their own medicine, because there's nothing that I hate more than... No, there's actually a lot of things that I that I don't like uh, within the world. However, I cannot stand a scammer. I cannot stand a thief. I cannot stand. Yeah, man. And a liar. Uh, both parties, the ones buying it and the ones scamming it, don't look the best here, right here, guys. Give them a taste of their <laughs> own medicine. And guys, listen up. Let me talk to y'all real quick before we end this video. In order to have true joy. True success, true happiness within your life, you have to have a purpose. If your purpose is abyss level, downright dirty, cheating type shit, then you'll never be happy. It will always come full circle around. And see, the thing is, is that I <clears throat> basically, basically believe in karma by proxy. What is it that I mean by that? I don't think that if you do X, Y is going to happen to you from an ethereal perspective. There's a lot of terrible human beings that lived incredibly long lives. But 
if you have a life around you of lying to people, keeping shitty people around you, stealing from people, always being negative to people, being abyss level thinkers around people, eventually the way that you conduct yourself in life will come back to you tenfold through your direct actions having consequences to those actions. Just as hard as you work with in life to get Thanks, bro. Thanks. In front of that Call of Duty machine or play your battle bit. You should be working just as hard in order to figure out who the hell that you got them are so you can have a skill set and talent to bring within this world. Dang, we don't see the part where you talk with Aiden Ross and then he got, because <clears throat> like he, he did a call with Aiden Ross and then he, um, he like scams uh, Domino's as well in that video world transmute that energy i had to do it in my early 20s as well i had to stop the bullshit and figure out what the hell that i wanted to do and i wouldn't say necessarily i got particularly lucky because i worked so hard in doing it but i found out extremely early something that i can do at least initially until i started to figure out more things that i wanted to do i had no idea i was going to be a youtuber at this stage of my life had no idea could have never <laughs> a good career path i think Ooh, let's go, let's go. Foretold it for myself. But over time, I slowly started to figure it out. And that walk of life is way more fulfilling than cheating and scamming. All right? Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Me over tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, what do you think about today? <clears throat> but yeah, good video, guys. He, he does, make, does make some good points here. Um, yeah, we might have to watch and react to the original video. I haven't seen the full video. I can I think I have, though, on TikTok. Somebody re-uploaded it. <laughs> Today's video. A little bit different than things that I put up on this channel, but I figured, hey, let's give it a shot. Until next time, YouTube. Peace! <laughs> yep, that'll be the video, guys. Peace out, everyone. Yeah, let's look at a few of the comments here. Oh, he said, those drug dealers are, and scammers doing it to put food on the table is BS. They do it to look flashy and cool. I swear, I never need to just apply for the Fed Cyber Unit. Their job has to be so sweet. Very smart. Ta young man using his talents in the wrong way with that little, red little piece of fabric in his mouth took him down. Imagine being a scammer. <laughs> interesting video, interesting video. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be a reaction video, but it basically is. <clears throat> and yeah, guys, that will be the video. Peace out, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next one. As far as, like, uh, my opinion about it, I think I think this guy, I, I agree with this, what this guy is saying, bro. Because he's, like, you know, taking from, taking from the ones that are trying to scam. And uh, teaching them a lesson, kind of, but yeah, later, guys.